welcome to the Paper Snob. This is Tara. Today I'm working on 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life, day number 21. This sketch was designed by Crystal Barrett. She's from Pineapple Papers. I'll make sure that I have at least her YouTube channel down below and possibly even her Instagram as well. This is a fun sketch. I love it because it has lots of layers. I love playing with layers, either underneath my photo as photo mats or as a embellishment cluster. I love to do that. In fact, over at Counterfeit Kit Challenge blog this month, that was one of my challenges that I issued because this month I am the master forger in charge of the Counterfeit Kit Challenge blog and I issued the challenges and I picked the kit that we are counterfeiting, etc. And one of my challenges was to create five layers either under a photo or under a cluster of embellishments. So that's fun that 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 sketch just speaks to me. So that being said, I pulled out the remainder of my May counterfeit kit. I had one full sheet of pattern paper left that I ended up putting back in my stash and a whole bunch of scraps. Plus I pulled out my bowl of metal paper clips. So, but the rest of this is various bits and pieces from my May kit, as well as I pulled in some chipboard from my Allie Edwards Stories kits and some of her um, four by six cards to help with the layering process. I wanted to make sure I had plenty of layers. And this is a photo of yours truly. I am about 18 months old in that photo. And I thought it would be fun to scrapbook with my May kit because it kind of has some bit of a vintage feel to it. I am not going to be using everything that's on my desk. This is just what I pulled out of the box because lo and behold, it's time to build my July kit and I was making room for stuff for my July kit. So I'm gonna stop the video and I'm gonna come back in a little bit. Oh, but first we have to do that bingo card that I have apparently misplaced somewhere on my desk. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna mark off on that bingo card today. Maybe I'll mark off mixed media, we'll see. I'll be right back. I'm gonna start with my shimmery watercolors on this white piece of cardstock. This is not foundations um, cardstock, it's just a piece of basil. I think it's coconut swirl. That's the one I typically purchase. It does hold up with mixed media fairly well, um, well enough for watercolors. So I'm just kind of putting some watercolors down on my glass media mat. I'm gonna trim off a piece of packaging and then I'm gonna use that packaging to get some color onto my background. My goal is to kind of get as much color as I can in the middle because if you recall from the sketch, it had pattern paper on opposite corners and I know that that pattern paper is going to take up quite a bit of room. So now I'm gonna add a little bit more color with some splatters and a darker color of pink from this watercolor palette. So now you'll get to see me just kind of play with the layers. The first thing I did was I cut down this piece of cardstock to I think nine by nine. And then when I put it on there, I'm like, oh, it's a little too big. So I'm gonna cut off three quarters of an inch from each side. And I think I have, end up having to do it again as well because it's just bigger than I intended. But in the end, I kind of get it the right size and I'm good. So I'm going to just start distressing all the things. I think I distress every single layer, including this photo that goes down next. So 
So I still decide that that is too big. I want more of my background showing and I want more room to put all of these layers that I'm planning on getting onto this layout. So I just tear it some more and then I think I get it just the way that I want it. So I'm gonna start picking up all of these different pieces and I'm kind of hoping to start with this gray star and I cut it down I think four and a half inches by about seven and I use that as my base for my layering. So I'm gonna take this pink gingham four by six pocket card and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stress it, distress it, and I'm gonna make a decision on where it's gonna end up in the layer, the layers. So my goal is to get every single one of these pocket cards on here in these layers because I do not want to have to put them away. I am lazy like that and I just want to get them down on this layout. I know that's just a bad reason to do it but I did choose them for their colors and I definitely want to make sure that I can get them on there. And so I even brought out my notebook punch because her layers had a piece that had a notebook type edge and I'm gonna go ahead and distress this as well and then I'm gonna tuck it underneath the hearts. So I'm grabbing this scrap of fabulous wood grain that I had left over from May and I'm going to create a larger mat to paper clip my photo to. And then I will continue to layer things underneath that photo mat. So next, I'm gonna tuck that photo or the pocket card with the yellow striped border. Now my goal is to cover up the words because I'm not gonna use those even though it's a great quote, it just doesn't go with the layout that I am working with. And my supplies, my rules, if I wanna cover up something I do, if I wanna tear it, I do. So it's just the way I kind of roll here. I want to make sure that I use as much of what I pulled out to play with. Um, Cause again, I really don't wanna have to put a whole bunch of things away. I, there are quite a bit of scraps still left over at the end of this video. I don't use it all, unfortunately. I add a little bit more of the mustard yellow to my layers. I'm distressing these edges 
And you'll note that I set a piece aside. I believe that extra piece ends up in the trash because I decided, you know, that started out as a 12 by 12 piece of pattern paper and I got it down to that small of a piece. I think I have permission to just let it go. Channel your inner Elsa there and just let it go. I have so many scraps that I could just throw away so many pieces. So now I'm going to begin tucking ephemera in there and I want to get these little chipboard pieces that I also pulled from an Allie Edwards kit. Those items were not in my May counterfeit kit, but the papers and some of those cut aparts that you see there are package of ephemera that I'm playing with currently was also in my May counterfeit kit and I use a pretty good portion of it on this layout so I will be putting some of it away be, and that's good because I actually still have that collection paper pack in my stash and now I don't have ephemera so oh well I guess I'll be making my own embellishments when I pull up that paper pack again huh so I really like the flowers on top of that house, but the house doesn't really go with my photo and the vibe that I'm going with here. So I just tuck that house behind my one of my layers so that only the floral element peeks out. I am going to add, I think there's two butterflies. Yes, there's two butterflies. I'm gonna add almost all of the hearts and all of the floral ephemera from that um, ephemera pack as well. In the end, I, I think I only end up with that title that you see off there to the right and then a little word that says blessed and I put those back in that ephemera pack and put it away. So I had to text my mom because originally I thought this photo was of me at 18 months but I'm looking at what I'm wearing and I'm thinking not 18 months because my birthday is in June. That would have that would mean that that picture would have been taken in December. I'm from Missouri. It's cold in Missouri in December, so not dressed warm enough for that. So I texted her and she says, mm, you're about a year old in that picture. So I thought I would put me at one year on here as part of my title and maybe add some white splatters. I did glue everything down all of it and I added these um they're wooden enamel dots by my mind's eye they're incredibly old and that means I'm not sure what collection they came from because I don't even have the packaging for them anymore I do want to talk about this you saw me pull off the two circles from this and the reason why I want to talk about it is I'm not throwing this piece of trash away because you know what this would be good for would be good for use in place of foam adhesive. I tend to cut stuff like that down and use it. I mean, I know it's trash, but it's better than, you know, having a bunch of fun foam and, and stuff all the time. And it does help use up some of the waste that is coming out of my scrap space. So I do want to thank you for stopping by my channel today. I really appreciate those of you who take the time to comment like and subscribe. I would love to have you subscribe if you are not a subscriber. And if you have any questions, you should drop those down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. You have a great day. Make sure you stay tuned for the close-ups because then you'll be able to see the additional things that I've added and the finished title. Thanks. Bye. So I decided to go ahead and add my white splatters on camera rather than doing it off camera. And I did that here. I'm also going to mark off mixed media on my bingo card. I am getting really close to that blackout, guys. I'm kind of excited about that. Thanks again for stopping by. Bye.